No good morning. This is called slack action. This back coupler on this car over here, that's a uh, slack in, coupler bunched, or it's also called the buff. There, now we're in draft. Couplers are pulled out. We're stacked up. <laughs> These cars take a beating. You figure this? Uh, we uh, he's down here, uh, down there unloading the train right now, and uh, you figure on a good day running there. Uh, about seven times this happens a day when they're uh, loading up there and also when they're unloading the train. So these cars take a beat. We get a lot of uh, draft gears that uh, go bad. These are loaded cars right here. These are uh, Taking ahead to dump the next car. The locomotive is remote control. I want you to look at this coupler here on this uh, this side. See how it goes up in the top and down at the bottom. That's called a shelf. I call it a full shelf coupler. Uh, some we don't have very many of these, but the full shelf couplers are required for tank cars. Uh, we have some. We have a many of the, uh, it's called, I call half shelf. So it would only be the bottom part and not the top part. You see this coupler over here doesn't have either one. But some of our couplers do have just the top part. And uh, these are, uh, Type E couplers. So you have the draft key in there and draft key in here. Uh, we also have type F couplers. And, uh, slack action. So that, uh, go back and watch my video I made some time ago on draft gears. I've got couplers out on the ground and I show you the difference between the type E and the type F couplers. But I've never shown you a shelf coupler before. So now you know what a shelf coupler is. Like I said, tank cars are required to have those full shelf couplers. Um, this, uh, this right here, this is the, the bottom line is our train brake pipe. And that valve right there uh, shuts it off. It's called an angle cock. This line up here is for the doors. Where it goes together, they're called glad hands. I'm not getting in there, but uh, we're moving. Uh, this car was built in uh, 1996 by Trinity Industries. These are all aluminum five bay popper cars we got. Here's our number one locomotive. There's That's a uh, half shelf coupler on uh, this uh, hopper car. So it goes down. Like I said, some of them, some of the couplers uh, will go up on top and not on the bottom. And I don't know what the difference is, but uh, now that coupler on the locomotive, that's a uh, special type that's called an EF coupler. So it's a combination of the E and the F. It has the F end on the shank and the E end on the uh, coupler part. This is an old machine. It's done us a lot of service. It's been a good machine. It was built in May of uh, 1975. 
Sunday morning, and it's getting warm already. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna service this switch down here, and uh, then I'll follow him out, do a high rail inspection. That's my high rail truck down there. This is a called a number ten turnout. One of these days, I'm gonna make a video on the turnouts too, and show you. All about the turnouts what everything's called I got to service this switch down here this is an electric switch it's battery operated we also have uh, 110 power on it I'll do a, another video sometime on uh, on these uh, electric switches too Okay, you got to see slack action, you got to see a half shelf and a full shelf coupler and some other goodies. So I hope you have a good day and uh, I got to make another video sometime too of him dumping. I think that, that'll be interesting to watch. It goes pretty fast. Okay, have a good day.